Oye, como tamo mi gente? We got everything in Dominican Republic. Food, culture, nature, athletes, actors. But you know what we don't have enough of? Superheroes. A couple weeks ago, we already covered Puerto Rican superheroes on this channel. But Dominican heroes? So much far less than the already few Puerto Rican heroes. Both my parents were raised in the DR, and their parents were, and their parents were. And my parents actually immigrated here to New York City before I was even born in order to give me and my older brother a better lifestyle. Their work ethic, culture, and background inspire me so much every day in everything I do. And that's why this topic means so much to me. I'm Simon from the Panic Brothers, and I'm breaking down a handful of Dominican superheroes that exist. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Dominicans are severely underrepresented in the comic book medium and entertainment medium in general. So uh, let's just get started. So first we got Win Eagle, Hector Ruiz. Ruiz is the only son of immigrants from the Dominican Republic and fell into a life of crime and drugs. After escaping prison, Ruiz was given a suit similar to the Falcon's costume and eventually finding himself coming to blows with the Black Panther taking on the name Wind Eagle. In an attempt to attack the King of Wakanda and finally exterminate him, Wind Eagle is shot by a sniper and inevitably killed. Hector Ruiz and Wind Eagle are pretty much like a basic superhero. He doesn't really stand out and his costume really, really sucks. The, the superhero did not age well and honestly, I don't want to see any type of resurgence of this character in the MCU. So honestly, this character is kind of a dub for me, but it's pretty cool that at least he is well acknowledged as a Dominican superhero, so, you know, there's that. Shades, also known as Hernan Alvarez. Alvarez is the son of Dominican immigrants born and raised in Harlem, New York. Alvarez is particularly known for his signature pair of shades, hence the nickname. Ward Meacham of Rand Meacham Inc. created them, allowing Alvarez to emit powerful blasts. Alvarez was infamous for his involvement with various local crime organizations and his run-in with Luke Cage. Soon enough, Alvarez turned straight to a life of community organizing with his son in Hell's Kitchen, but eventually died in an explosion set by Bullseye. Alvarez is a supporting antagonist in both seasons of Netflix's Luke Cage, portrayed by Theo Rossi. Shades is pretty cool compared to Win Eagle just because we've seen him more in modern medium, and it's pretty cool seeing a Dominican with a New York background because let's be honest, Dominicans are really well populated in areas like Washington Heights, Harlem, and several areas of Queens. So it's pretty cool seeing a character come to life with that type of background, especially considering how me and Josue are both from New York, respectively. The thing that sucks about Shades, though, is he's not a hero, he's more of an antagonist. And that's not a problem, it's just, you know, I think we need more protagonists first in the culture than antagonists. When you have, you know, such a few polling of Dominican heroes and characters in your comic book medium, and a lot of them are villains, makes you question exactly why you pick me so many Dominican villains over just heroes. But maybe I'm being nitpicky, let's just move on to the next one. And real quick, in intermission, if you're interested in hearing more, aka an in-depth discussion on the lack of Dominican representation in the comic book medium, and why this is so important, head on over to our podcast, The Panic Room, available everywhere you enjoy your podcast, or just check the description below. Now let's continue. Next we have the question, aka Rene Montoya. Montoya is the daughter of Dominican immigrants and a detective with the Gotham City Police Department. After being exposed as a lesbian, Montoya resigns from the GCPD due to the corruption within. She picks up the question alias, operating out of a lighthouse, and known to team up with the likes of the Huntress and Wonder Woman to bring down criminal organizations and even groups of aliens. Montoya has appeared in various Batman related films and television series including Batman Animated Series, The New Batman Adventures, Batman Bad Blood, and Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. Victoria Cartagena portrays the first live-action portrayal of the character in Gotham, while Rosie Perez, shout out to Puerto Ricans, portrays the character in the DC Extended Universe line of films, starting with Birds of Prey. Rene Montoya is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably my favorite hero of the ones I'm listing out here today, because this is probably the equivalent of Miles Morales for us, which is not really on the same level. And I say that because she actually has a role in Birds of Prey that's very dominant and very actually seen and i don't know if many of you who are watching this have seen the batman animated series but she has been quite often shown in many episodes and i never knew that she was dominican until Josue had to inform me about it when making this video i honestly thought she was just this black or you know 
darker skinned woman. And it's kind of cool that now I'm realizing she's Dominican. Kind of wish they hinted at that more, you know, explored that background a little bit more. But, but then again, I also don't want to enter that realm too harshly because we've seen before that comic books don't know how to treat our cultures well when they start getting into the nitty gritty details and start making our character all about just that culture instead of just a human being. But once again, going back to it, Montoya is great. I think she's a great superhero. If you want to really call her a superhero compared to the likes of other players like Batman and Superman, but she's great, and I think we need more characters like her. Especially when you consider her LGBTQ background, which is not something really popular in our Dominican background, unfortunately. Uh, being gay, lesbian, trans, in Dominican, even Puerto Rican, or many Hispanic cultures is really frowned upon. So having this one dominant with this identity is huge for people of this background. So, question, you got a great big thumbs up from me. Next we have Stigmata, Ana Maria Magdalena Schwartz. Schwartz was sold to a Catholic orphanage as a child after her grandmother noticed signs of Stigmata and supernatural powers in the young girl. The Vatican recognized her potential and Schwartz was soon recruited in the Holy Guard and then assigned to value the conversion of San Gregorian President Franco Santera to Christianity. She managed to stop a number of terrorists who plotted to take over St. Jude's Hospital in the Bronx with the aid of Eddie Bronx, Venom, and Ghost Rider. Sigmata is really not that well known. I never heard her before this at all. And honestly, she doesn't play that crazy of a role. I mean, once again, it's pretty cool that it's another woman who's representing Dominican, so keep that up. That's awesome. I'll take that any day. But the whole Christian background is kind of an interesting plot to me, and I don't think they've really done anything crazy recently with this character, so just kind of another throwaway. And finally, we have Power Man, Victor Alvarez. Arguably the worst looking superhero out of these five. The son of Hern Shades, who I mentioned earlier, and the third to pick up the Power Man mantle, Victor survived the explosion that killed his father by absorbing the chi of the dead bodies surrounding him. I swear to god I'm not making that up. That's really what happened. Granting him superhuman strength. Victor advertised his services as a hero for hire on sites such as Craigslist, which eventually became noticed by ex-Power Man himself, Luke Cage. Victor has since joined the new class of Avengers Academy and really hasn't been mentioned too much since then, but I mean, just look at him, I'm sorry. If you're really comparing Luke Cage to this, it just Luke Cage seems so much more interesting than Power Man. It just, Victor doesn't look that appealing to me, and he's kind of forgettable. But, can't get mad that it's another Dominican hero. Yeah, that's it. I named five. I have the same amount of fingers on my right hand as Dominican superheroes. And yes, listen, I get it, Question is great. She's a woman with a gay background who actually does a lot in the GCPD. And you have other characters too, like Shades, who's also pretty cool because you actually see him in Luke Cage. But let's be honest, man, this is just not a good list. It's just, none of these are really a Miles Morales level. Or none of these really make me proud to be Dominican, just more so think, huh, pretty cool Dominican. I know for a fact, as Mosway is editing this, he's laughing because he gets to play Miles Morales, Spider-Man on the PS5, with a Puerto Rican flag just blasting in the wind while he's swinging from building to building to building. He gets experienced that. Meanwhile, I just get to watch Batman animated series and support a cop, which is kind of conflicted about, not gonna lie. It's just weird, man. I really think that we need more representation, but... Honestly, if you want a solution, I don't know what that solution is. Because when you try pandering to one culture, you can kind of get a little too wishy-washy with it and make a character that's all about the culture. I, like, I love Boring Kenya. I don't think she's terrible, but her character is just being Puerto Rican. I don't want that for Dominicans. But I definitely would like, I don't know, a character who grew up in New York with a Dominican background, went to a high school maybe. That's all I ask for. Something more relatable, something more real, you know? Not just a cop or a dude who picks up power from a glass from some chi. Something just like a regular Spider-Man or like, I don't know, like Batman. Something like that with just Dominican background. I hope one day we get there, but until then, we're stuck with this very, very, very small list. And that's kind of it. That's all Dominican superheroes we know. If there's any missing, I beg of you to please let me know or let Josue know. We really don't know that many and it really bothers us that we have to scrape the bottom of the barrel to really get to these heroes. I honestly feel like it's just really shocking and terrible that Dominicans are really hardworking people who are just, you know, blasted everywhere in the more music and 
and baseball friendly scene but when it comes to being a superhero we're just not giving that privilege it's kind of bullshit and i hope one day we can change that until next time this has been simon from the panda brothers wishing you guys a good one see you later me mario